you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you are feeling good today? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The strength of the Lord and the might of God is upon you today. The anointing and the favor of the Lord is upon so many of you who, how many of you did not fast? I did not fast. You, why? Okay, all right. I understand your situation. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. It's going to be well. We're going to, we're going to start some serious prayer now, okay? You get ready. Uh, hallelujah. Many times. I can't fast today, though. I can't fast today. Hallelujah. You're not, you're not working today. So, all right. Okay. Okay. Everyone, get yourself ready. Hallelujah. Get yourself ready. Roll, roll up from the bed so that we can do some, 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 some crazy warfare. Hallelujah. Somebody say crazy warfare. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Jesus. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Are you ready for what God is about to do? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. So go ahead and begin to invite people now. Hallelujah. Go ahead and invite, 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 invite. Hallelujah. Zakata barado. Say this after me. Say in the name that is above every other name. Please say with authority. Say in the name that is above every other name. One of the things that I've understood by the enemy is that the enemy, hallelujah, always looks around, always looks around where the Christians are. And he always look for how he can attack. Always look for how he can prevail against believers. Are you hearing me today? And so we begin to see something that is very, very unique in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, during the time of Jesus, when he got his disciples, the Bible says that the devil himself began to, is running around like a roaring lion, looking for whom he may devour. If you open the door, you open the gates, hallelujah, the devil will come in to devour your soul. Are you hearing me today? It's not, it's not a, it, it, the guy is a loser already. But if you give him an opportunity, he will take advantage of you. Hallelujah. So this time and this season, get yourself ready because, hallelujah, the enemy has been roaring against our family, roaring against our destiny, roaring against our mind, our children, whatever it is. Hallelujah. But you must rise up in divine authority today and say no more. His reign is over in our lives. Hallelujah. When you begin to study the Bible, the Bible says that even Jesus began to announce. It looks like every time a parent shows an interest on a child, it's always the devil always eyes that child. I don't know why. Because we see Jesus having an eye over Jesus, over Peter. He loved Peter. And he says, Peter upon this rock will I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. He gave him an authority. And soon after that, the devil went after Peter. Hallelujah. He went after Peter and he tried, tried, tried. And the devil, like Jesus said, the devil has tried to swift you like with. But I prayed for you. Hallelujah. I have prayed for you. I have stopped what the enemy is trying to prevail. And sometimes also too we see that even Jacob loved, loved Joseph. And the moment he loved Joseph and the devil to saw the interest or the interest and the love something began to happen the enemy went after joseph with all the strength he could have to deal with this guy hallelujah who is this guy that has the love who is this guy who does this guy think he is hallelujah and some of you have been being beloved in your family some of you amen you find yourself that sometimes you show an interest on a particular child hallelujah amen and all of a sudden the devil begins to go after hallelujah that devil is a liar but jesus said i prayed for you now without prayer it means that the devil can have or can prevail against any vessel are you hearing me today so therefore we are going to pray say this loud and clear say every messenger of satan <laughs> firstly you will say every messenger of satan assigned to my life the next thing you will say every messenger of satan assigned to my to whoever is in your family that you know hallelujah say every messenger of satan hmm you remember when Jesus came before Peter, hallelujah, when Peter says you cannot die on the cross, what did Jesus say? What was Jesus' response? Nobody? Yeah, many people are not reading the Bible. 
when Jesus confronted, when Peter confronted Jesus and says, you cannot die in the cross, there was a war, there was a response at which uh, there was a response that Jesus said to Peter. He didn't call Peter by name. He said, Satan, what did he say? Get what? The Bible says you shall be the head and not the tail. The little word that says get it behind me, people don't understand that word get behind me. People think uh, get behind me means, let me, listen, in the, in the heavenlies, there is always a roadblock in the spirit. Somebody says, there's always a checking point, checking point. The prince of Pasha began to check point, the angel, before you can intrude into the earth. There must be, there's a checkpoint in the realm of the spirit. So now as we begin to pray, make sure you get yourself aggressive because I understand, hallelujah, in any member of your family, in anyone that does not have the seal of the blood, by your prayers, amen, the enemy will come after, whoever is exposed. But I want to take aggression because you have total authority over the workings of the devil. And, you know, there's a particular sister here, yeah, you know, I don't need to call your names, but you, you, you live in Atlanta and the enemy has been tormenting and tormenting your daughter. Today, you are going to be very aggressive. Are you hearing me? very extremely aggressive extremely aggressive and you're going to pray amen because you have the keys to unlock your daughter the bible says that the enemy locked up peter amen while jesus was praying these people were praying release peter from the evil captivity today you're going to pray whoever has locked your daughter whoever has locked your son whoever has locked anybody hallelujah say every messenger of satan assigned against me and my family Be disgraced by fire. Open your mouth and thunder fire. Le graga zabara da ribe biya baradia. Every messenger, every messenger assigned to disgrace me. Irega de ribe biya ke ribe biya baradia. Be disgraced by fire. Raba baba ribe biya baradia. Open your mouth and begin to pray, everyone. Le graga de ribe biya baradia. Raba baba ribe biya baradi. Jomblen de le meme kabaya. Raga da ribe biya baradia. Every messenger. Irogo do ribe biya kabaya. Ila graga zabara da. Irogo do ribe biya baradia. Ribe biya biya kabaya. Libranda rebebeka rebebeka baradi rababa rebebeka baradia rababa rebebeka baradia inomba ha ileg rebeya barando rebebia baradi rababa rebebeka rebebeka baradish in the name of Jesus, every messenger, messengers of Satan, assigned against my family. I say scatter by fire. I say scatter by fire. I say scatter by fire. Every messenger of Satan assigned against my family. Be scattered by fire. Rebebebe ashata. Ilebebe apaya. Marondo rebebe abarandish. Let it scatter, let it scatter, let it scatter, let it scatter, let the plan of the enemy scatter, le gragada, i roba rebebega baradin. Li gamban talaman de lebebe apaya, roba rebebega berebebia baradish. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Say this Lord and clear. Say strangers of darkness. <laughs> Strangers of darkness organized against me and my family. Say scatter by fire. Open your mouth and thunder fire. Every stranger assigned against my family. Every stranger assigned against my destiny. I say scatter, scatter. Scatter by fire. Every stranger from the pit of hell. Every stranger of failure. Strangers of destruction. Strangers in Calabaha. I say scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Rebebeka Baradish, Santa la Bahayas, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready? You guys are still praying like you are, you are looking for how to get to break your fast. Take it easy. <laughs> Keep your mind on the authority of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are about to, you are about to, you are about to deal with some devils. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Mongrondo rabas sata bahayas. 
In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, my father. Say this loud and clear. Say, every veil of the wicked. Okay. Say this loud and clear. Some of you came from polygamous family. And the enemy somehow has determined that your children will not progress. Say this loud and clear. <laughs> Every polygamous umbrella of my father's house. Over my life and destiny. Catch fire by fire. Magaraga zebra kajiria. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Legrega da ribebia. Irrega da ribebega da ribebia baradia. Shaka da baraba baribebega baradosh. Every umbrella. Every umbrella. of my father's house. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire by the power in the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands up and begin to talk to the Lord now. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit. Uh, please, I want you to take communion and take your, your take, a, take a communion beside you. Hallelujah. Take communion beside you and also your oil. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, we're going to be praying and blessing your oil today. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit begin to manifest. And then, um, and then um, later today by 12 a.m., we're going to be having a night vigil. Hallelujah. How many of you want a night vigil? Amen. Nobody's excited. I said, how many of you want a night vigil? Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the peace, I release the joy, I release the fresh anointing upon this prayer line. I break every assignment of the devil. I ask, O oh God, that your authority from heaven will be released right now. Your line, your like authority will be released on the prayer line. That your people, O oh God, will be stirred up to pray like never before. Let the spirit of grace and supplication be released upon us now. Let the, I stir up the lion anointing. I stir it up. I stir it up the prophetic anointing. I stir up the grace of the Lord right now to begin to flow unhindered right now by the power of your spirit. Holy Spirit, I pray that to overshadow us now, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, have your way right now. Let the fire of your spirit, let the fire of grace, let the fire of revival, let it fall upon us, O oh God. Even as we're about to pray, Spirit of God, remove every satanic veil. I take authority over every stranger. I take authority over every demonic spirit. I take authority over every form of manipulation. I take authority over every witchcraft spirit. I take authority over every sickness and disease, O oh God. I take authority over every, over every weariness in the body every pain in the body lord i take authority over that body now i take authority over your spirit or you evil spirit that oppresses in the life of your people father i bind that spirit right now your spirit of prayerlessness i bind you now spirit of weariness i bind you now by the power in the holy ghost holy god lord let the glory of god begin to fall upon your people today lord i pray that the canopy of your blood. Let angels be released into every home. Every man, every woman represented on this prayer line, let your angels be represented to that home now. Father, let it be a wave of the anointing. Let your hand be released upon that home now. Let the wind of your spirit begin to blow now. Let it be a cloud of your glory and offering in every home now. In the name of Jehovah, Spirit of the living God, I pray that you crown, crown your people with authority. Crown your people with your power. In the name of Jesus, let the dominion of the Lord, let it fall upon us today in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm asking you to go for fresh fire, that the fire of your spirit will go will begin to we, we, we kindle our heart that lord you will set your people ablaze like never before in the name of jesus christ or every form of hindrance every form of obstacle every form of barrier let it be destroyed let it be destroyed because of your blood in the name of jesus christ i'm asking that right now that the prophetic anointing the river of your glory the river of healing the river of deliverance will begin to manifest will begin to flow now let there be spiritual garments spiritual impartations be released upon your people right now whatsoever food whatsoever thing that they've eaten or swallowed whatsoever spirit of perversion or loss that has entered their lives father let 
let it be free from such spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm asking every family represented here, oh God, that their family will be baited with your blood in the name of Jesus. Their children, oh God, will begin to see the salvation of the Lord. Lord, I pray that every Egyptian spirit that has held, uh, held on to anyone here, hearing the sound of my voice, that they will be loose, they will be free from evil captivity by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, he cut up a labaya, Rodo Rebebia, Bradier Bibio, Brondo Rebebio, Gobrandaria, Zalabala Baba Labaya, Bradier Bibia, Bibia. Oh, Jesus, have your will, Lord, Likorondo Roboko Zabahaya. Jesus, have your will, Lord. Have your way, 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 have your way. Libaka Bata Balabadosh, Rebebeke Bia Baradish. Rebebe 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 kapaya maganto la bandele bebe kabantele bebe kapala badelia zon rende rebebe kabanto ribibia I release the quickness of God's mind I pray that your spirit will begin to fall upon your people today let your fresh anointing let the river of your glory begin to fall right now in the name of Jesus I pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit the grace of the Lord to uphold your people right now as for the strength of God as for the unction of your spirit to rest upon your people spirit of God as the fire of God fell upon your parum let your fire fall upon your people let the heavens be open now let the heavens be open now by the power in the holy ghost lord i want to we want to hear your voice let us begin to hear your voice the crystal clear voice of the lord the crystal voice of the lord let you begin to hear the crystal voice of god and lord i pray for supernatural empowerment over the life of a people that you begin to empower us able to a place of prayer in the name of jesus christ let every yoke stronghold be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now by the power in the blood of jesus christ i thank you for fresh fire i I thank you for fresh grace. I thank you for fresh anointing. I thank you, Father, for doing what you have never done before in our lives. We give you the praise and the glory. We damage the works of the devil. We destroy his works and we destroy his assignments. We destroy his activities. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What a God we serve. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Are you ready for prayer now? Hallelujah. Something is about to happen. I'm telling you. <laughs> Something is about to happen. You're going to pray with fire, loud and clear. And you're going to shout this prayer loud and clear. Periscope, please go ahead and invite. Hallelujah. Go ahead and invite. Hallelujah. And as you invite, the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. My God. You're going to shout this prayer loud and clear. Amen. You're going to shout this prayer loud and clear. I want to explain to you, understand. In Psalm 24. Let's quickly go there. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hit this hard upon the enemy. We're gonna hit this hard by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Zelebo sapa telebibia paradosh. E kanto la bada la baba ya paradosh. Inde katu la bandele bibia paradosh. Psalm twenty-four. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. It's one of the scriptures we're going to be dealing with. Hallelujah. We let's read from verse 7. It says, Lift up your head, O ye gates, and build ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. What are you talking about? Lift up your head, O ye gates. What is the Lord trying to emphasize here? Lift up your head, ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. What is he trying to say? Hallelujah. We understand in the book of Matthew, hallelujah, in the scriptures, we begin to understand how Jesus went into the temple and began to drive all of them that bought and sold in the temple. Hallelujah. He drove all of them that bought and sold in the temple. After he drove them, the Bible says he came and began to heal the sick. Amen. There are demons in within the temple. There are demons inside of your body. There are demons that lie inside. Can a Christian, a righteous man, can a Christian man be possessed? I mean, be, 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 even be possessed and demon living inside? Listen to me. I've, I've seen firsthand, amen, demonic operation while the enemy is using somebody to prophesy and is also filled with, with all kinds of spirit. Hallelujah. Your body is the temple of the living God. The robbers can enter your body. Hallelujah. When you allow it. Hallelujah. You begin to say something. It says, 
verse 4 this is probably we're going to hear this message again he that had a clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he that had a clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive the blessings of the lord and righteousness from god of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O jacob Every time God will always want to encourage you and tell you how you receive your blessings. Hallelujah. We see that also in Zechariah, which we read a day before. He talked about how God had a great intention for our lives. Hallelujah. He began to say, there is a horn. Hallelujah. There is a horn. God has his intention for our life to bless us, to, pro to bless us as we be, to, to prosper us and to expand our coast. Amen. But then, when this prophetic word came, he says, Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw a horn, a horn, a horn that caused men not to lift up their head. That is what the enemy is. Now we are seeing something that says, He shall receive, verse 5 in Psalm 24, He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him. Verse 7, he says, Then I lifted up my head. He said, Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting and the King of glory shall come in. So, there is a force that blocks the King of glory from coming into your life. There is a force that causes you not to hear the voice of God. There is a voice. Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice, may you open. He's always knocking, but somehow we don't hear the voice of God. Why? Because there are forces within that blocks us from hearing the voice of God. Today we are going to seriously take a place of prayer. We're going to take a place of prayer. One of the forces, let me explain to you, is that Psalm 27. Let's quickly go there. Psalm 27 is another force of the wicked that is in operation and we must deal with this. It says what? It said, the, verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? It says, When the wicked, even my enemies, even my enemies and my foes, came up to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Folks, there are, there are people that come to eat up your flesh. There are people that have come to taste of who you are. There are people that, whether you like it or not, I told you before that the God caused the serpent to eat the dust. We are made from dust. And as long as you begin to live in the flesh, something happens. Hallelujah. When you live in the flesh, hallelujah, the devil has the right to eat you. You become the food of the enemy. We see something here. They came up to eat up my flesh. Hallelujah. You must understand that there are forces within. Hallelujah. And said, though an, an host should they camp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war rise up against me. In this will I be confident. Lift up your voice and I want you to pray this prayer loud and clear. Say, every host encamping against my life, every host of hell organized against me. Are you ready for prayer? Say, every host organized against my life. Every host organized against my children. Every host organized against my husband. Every host organized against my wife. Every satanic host. I told you yesterday that it baffled me how a man of God was celebrating after waiting for 20 years to get married. He got married, amen, hallelujah, two years ago. And just shortly, they were celebrating their annual, their second year anniversary on their wedding day. Hallelujah. And something happened in the month of February. He was celebrating. Four days ago, he was writing a story on the report about his wife's testimony and... Uh, how he met his wife and how they were re really in love and suddenly something sniffed them out hallelujah two days later something happened the wife died in a gastric accident hallelujah in a gastric what accident she went out to go get something coming back police came and brought the news i mean how, why, why would this happen how would this happen this is a demonic power this is something that should not happen to any individual hallelujah so you're going to shout this prayer loud and clear and the bible says do and host should they come against me my heart shall not fear though war rise up against me this will i be confident do and host should they come against me talk say this loud and clear say every satanic host my god my God. <laughs> Holy break is Ibrahaya Bradosh. It's time for prayer. Say this loud and clear. Say heavy host of Jezebel. Assigned against my life. Every host of Jezebel assigned against my calling. Say scatter by fire. Oh, shout it loud and clear. Say every host of Jezebel. I don't know if you are interested in your calling. Every host of Jezebel. Oh my goodness, I can't hear my people. Say every host of Jezebel. Aside against my calling. Scatter 
by fire. Reke Zagaria Baragadilia, Reke de Rebebeca Berebia Bradi, in La Grada Rababaya, Reke de Rebebeca Berebia, Reka de Rababaya Bradilia, as a scatter by fire, in La Greca de Rebebeca Berebeca Baradia, in Rago de Rebebeca Beria, in La Gragadaria, every host of Jezebel organized against my calling, in Greca de Ria, Baracadaria, Garacadaria, Reke de Rebebeca Beracadaria, Reke de Rebebeca Berebeca Berebia, Rakadaraba Rababaca Berebia, Likraga de Rebebia. I say scatter by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. David talks about fools. He talks about fools, which are enemies. Say this loud and clear. <laughs> Every network Every enemy is uniting for my downfall. Enough is enough. All I want you to say is scatter, 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 scatter. And angels, will, listen to me, angels will begin to move ahead. Are you ready? Le balaba sombla heads. Yerom mondo rebebiya baradish. Shega da balaba yash. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Enemies united for my downfall. What I mean by enemies united for my downfall, meaning enemies at your place of work, enemies in your father's house, enemies at your home, enemies over your family, every enemy that is deployed all over to confuse you, to bring confusion, make you not to have joy. These are enemies. Hallelujah. Whatever they are. Are you hearing me? Uh -huh. See, enemies united for my downfall. Scatter by fire! Every enemy united for my downfall. I say scatter by the blood, scatter by fire. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Give you the praise, Lord. Thank you, my father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hmm. We give you the praise, Lord. In Jesus' name. Say this loud and clear. Likata balakazoblede. Zebrando rebebia paradish. Likate lebando lobobosios. See anything that was stolen from me. Any good thing that was stolen from me. By the powers of darkness. I take it back by fire. I take it back, I take it back, I take it back by the power in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus.
Malon te lebe bia barandish. Inene mende lebe beka paya. Rebe rebe beke rebe bia. Raba ba rebe beka baradi. Erogoda rebe 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 beke rebe bia. Rekada raba ba rebe beka rebe bia. Erekada rebe 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 beke rebe bia. Rekada raba ba raba beka raba ba rebe rebe beke rebe bia. Alla rado rebe 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 beke rebe bia. Rebe 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 beke rebe bia. Raba ba ba raba beka raba ba rebe bia. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. And when they drew nigh, verse 1, when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and were come unto a bed page, unto the Mount of Olives, unto the Mount of Olives, something happened very uniquely. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When they came nigh unto the bedpage, unto the Mount of Olives, they sent Jesus to disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you. Straightway you shall find an ass tied and a coat with her. Lose them and bring them to me. Lose them and bring them to me. I love that. Jesus needed a donkey. He needed something to ride on. Hallelujah. To enter into Jerusalem. This is another verse we see. Amen. In, in the days of old, donkey, hallelujah, as of now, is referred as a vehicle. In those days, they required animals to go from point A to point B. They used the boat, hallelujah. But as of now, in our days, it also requires as a vehicle. Some of us, we need a vehicle. Some of us, we need cars. Some of us, we need a helper that takes us. Uh, Matthew chapter 21, Matthew chapter 21, verse 2. Matthew chapter 21, from verse 1 to verse 2. Hallelujah. Amen. Lose them and bring them to me. The names were not given if they were disciples. Amen. Hallelujah. Or they were in or they were they were they were um or they were they were disciples or they were angels. We don't even know. But it says in verse 3, it says, If any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord had need of them. Straightway he will send them. And all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. Verse 5, it says, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting upon an ass, a cold full of ass. Now, 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 look at what it says. And the disciples went and did as they, Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass, coat, and put it on them. Now, the disciples were the ones that did that, all right? Put on them their clothes, and they said therein. Now, look at what happened. Verse 8, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut branches down the trees, and the multitudes that went before that followed Christ, saying, Hosanna, the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Wow, who is now giving them this identity? Who is now who is now giving them this identity? Hallelujah. Who is now giving them this authority? Hallelujah. Who is who opened their eyes to know that this was the master? Initially, Jesus was struggling to let the people know who the men say I am. But here people are now screaming and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, the son of David, blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. People are screaming. Why? I don't know why people liking prosperity, amen, to greatness. Hallelujah. Because donkey, those who rode in donkey were those who were very prosperous. Hallelujah. Now, more God, Jesus did not give them money. He just says, go and tell them to lose that donkey. How can you, the donkey was not for Jesus. Hallelujah. It was, yes, it was in prophecy. But somehow Jesus spoke that word and they went, disciples went to go lose the donkey. Lose the donkey. Money was not exchanged. Amen. Hallelujah. But when the donkey was going into Jerusalem, uh, the Bible says there was so much honor. People began to scream. The identity of Jesus was announced. Every man in life needs a donkey. Every man in life needs a helper. Every man in life needs something. And the only way you can do that is to release a proclamation. Today we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Whoever is sitting on your donkey, whoever, wherever your donkey has been tied, wherever your helper has been tied, they must be untied and they be brought to you. Are you hearing me? If you don't need this prayer, maybe you can pray the prayer for your son. Your son needs a helper. Your daughter needs a helper. Your family needs a helper. Your husband needs a helper. Are you hearing me? Too many wrong people have been in our lives. Every wrong person in our life brings a delay. Every wrong person in our lives, amen, hallelujah, will always make us to think differently, negatively. But when the right people enter into our lives, we become a different person. Hallelujah. Please, I want us to gather ourselves today and really pray. Amen. Whoever is sitting on our donkey of progress, whoever is sitting on our progress today, 
by the power and the Holy Spirit as we begin to pray that the Lord will begin to untie such donkeys in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Are you ready for the prayer? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say this loud and clear. Hmm. Hmm. All of my helpers tied down by the powers of darkness. No, you're not, you're not saying it. You're saying it like, hallelujah. All my helpers, every helper ordained for my life, tied down by the powers of darkness. I untie you. You know your children can be your helper. You know your husband you know your husband can be your helper. And if Jezebel tie your husband, the finances that should be used for you will be used for another woman. Your children can also be your helper. Your mother can be your helper. But when you untie them, then their, their eyes open. Then they're able to now reach out to you. It says, untie the donkey and bring them to me. They're going to pray. Hmm. Every ordained helper from, from my life and my progress tied down by the powers of darkness I untie you by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Regede rebe beka baragadia. Isa la brada rebe beka baradia. Regede rebe beka berebe bia baradi. I untie you by the fire of God. Regede rebe beka baradia. Reba ba 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 baradia. I untie all my helper. E regede rebe beka berebe bia. E regede rebe beka baradia. E regede rebe beka baradia. I untie you by fire. 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 Ragaza baradia. Angels of God. Bring them to me now. La draga da raba gabaya. E reke de rebe beka baradia. E reke de rebe beka baradia. I untie you by fire. Maga da raba ba rebe beka baradi. E lebran de rebe be rebe beka baria. Raba ba rebe beka be rebe be rebe bia. Oh rebe be rebe beka be rebe bia. All my helpers tied down by the powers of darkness. I untie you. I untie you. I untie you. Reke de rebe beka baradi. E rebe be rebe baya. Abando rebe bia baradi. Reke de rebe be rebe beka baradia. Malaban tele be bia baradi. Zog reke de rebe be rebe bia. All my helpers tied down by the powers of hell. I untie you by fire. I untie you by fire. All my helpers that has been tied, a gragada, I untie them by the blood. I untie them by the blood. I untie them by the blood. Every helper assigned for my children. Every helper assigned for my wife. Every helper assigned for my husband. Every helper assigned for my destiny. Every helper assigned for my marriage. Assigned for my career. Assigned for my finances. We untie them by the blood. 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 Magada Rabaya, Rebebega Baradish, Ileban de la Badilia, Rodo Rebebia Baradi, Rega de Rebebe Rebebega Baradin, Magrada Rababa Rebebega Berea, Ila Brando Rebebe Rebebega Berebebia. I untie all my helpers. Reggae de rebe rebe bia, ila grado rebe bia bradin. Let it be on time, let it be on time, let it be on time. Magato rababa ya bradish. The name of Jesus, lega pata la mandolia. Reggae de ria barada rebe bia, rebe 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Kalabazole Behedias. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, glorious God. Eko Rodorobo Silabada Labadolios. Amen. Talabando Rabo, your brother, your baby. Urando Rabo, the brand of the baby, a paradash. I bless your name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hmm. Hallelujah. Are you ready? You're going to pray. Every the desire of the wicked concerning my life and my family the wicked desire of the enemy for my life and my family let it be terminated let it be terminated let it be terminated are you are you ready are you ready to pray that prayer some people even christians imagine negative things you know if a sister who called me and says I, I, I can't think straight i'm always thinking negative ne negative and many times when you think negative the enemy will use that to accomplish his purpose are you hearing me every negative desire every negative desire concerning my life and my family any wicked imagination for my life and my family today by the power in the blood let it be wiped away in the name of jesus one of the things you must understand believer believers hallelujah is that we live in a time and in a season let me let me let me digress and go straight uh, we live in a time in a season whereby there are monitoring people people are monitoring us left and right hallelujah and if you are one of them hallelujah you must understand that it is time the enemy will want to monitor you the enemy want to follow you the enemy want to do things hallelujah to to, uh, to to keep check on you sometimes people will call you and they will find out hey, how are you how are you doing how are things and if you're not careful if you're if you've not anointed your, your mouth you realize you begin to say things absolutely you begin to open your mouth and you begin to talk and you begin to tell them all about you all about your testimony all about who you are what the lord is doing in your life hallelujah and many people have gotten into that trap they just start talking and talking and talking and the enemy is writing down those things how can he how can an enemy somebody is saying oh i see that uh, you are about to you are getting pregnant huh yes so oh, this and this and this and that and the enemy goes into plan because he's monitoring you amen I'm going to talk fully on that. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for who you are. Lord, as we go into the word of the Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you open our understanding. I pray that the fear of the Lord will be released in a great and mighty way. Spirit of the living God, let the fear of God brood upon us now. Anoint us with your fresh oil. Anoint us with your fresh oil. By the power in the Holy Ghost. Zelebanto roboko sabahaya. Ribibio brondo ribibia paradish. Ile kaban telebebe a parador e bebe a paradis. Ile pan telebebe lebebe kaparadia rador babaya. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the Holy Spirit, I ask that you anoint every ears, you anoint every heart. That Lord, you will open our understanding today. That as we get in deep into your word, Spirit of God, I pray you minister to us in the name that is above every other name. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to speak briefly. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible to the book of Genesis. Genesis. Amen. Genesis chapter 1. Uh, Genesis chapter 2, sorry. Hallelujah. I'm going to talk briefly on the holiness of God. Amen. On the holiness of God. One of the things that's suffering in the body of Christ is the ability to live a life of holiness. Is the ability to we get so distracted, amen, by everything around us, all the noises around us. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I worship you, Lord. I bless your name. Oh, Rabba Rabbi Apa, Shanti Ladies. Amen. 
Genesis chapter 2. I want to read and make you understand, amen, hallelujah, how, what happened. The Bible says in verse 7, And the Lord God, Father, unveil your word, unveil the mysteries of your word today. Let it be hidden man and hidden revelation be revealed to us. Give us great understanding concerning your word. Give us great capacity, Father, to grasp that which you have for us. Let revelation flow freely. Let the revelation begin to flow into our hearts. Let revelation be that... Uh, uh, diversified into every life here yeah. lord that as we begin to hear a word distinctively individually oh god we will begin to have different interpretations of what you have for us today spirit of god i pray that you minister greatly upon us lord i pray you touch our life touch our soul touch our spirit in the name of jesus quicken us by the power of your word in jesus name we look at something here and the lord god hallelujah we, we look at something here something that was just awesome here and um And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, that there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole earth, the face of the, of the ground. So in other words, God made a provision for everything. Now on verse 7, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and the breath of life. Um, that word breath means noma, hallelujah. And man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, which is Eden means pleasure, 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 the, hallelujah, pleasure. And there he put man whom he had formed out of the ground, made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to his sight and good for food, and the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, hallelujah and the tree of the knowledge of good and of evil and the river went out of eden to water the garden and from thence it was parted and became into four herds hallelujah and the name of the force was pison 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 hallelujah the word pison means increase yeah, hallelujah the word pison means increase uh, hallelujah and which com which compassed the whole land of avila hallelujah and dear where there was gold, and the gold of that land is good, and there is Bedlam, an office, the stone, and the name of the second river is Gihon, Gihon, hallelujah, and the word Gihon means bursting forth, the word Gihon means bursting forth, hallelujah, the same name, the, the same it is it that compassed the whole uh, land of Ethiopia, and the, the, tall, the, the name of the third river is Hidekel, Hidekel, Hallelujah, which means rapid. Hallelujah. And the Lord God took man, put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded. Hallelujah. And the Lord, this is my digital stuff. What is this going on? <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Bear with me. Amen. You know, sometimes when you're using your, um, we're getting there. Okay. All right. All right. And the Lord God took man, put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. To dress it and to keep it. Man was the man, man had the responsibility to keep the garden of Eden. Hallelujah. And the Lord God commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden, thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou shalt eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him of and help me. God began to make, say, I will create a helpmate to be of a blessing to Adam. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed the beast of every field. Now, 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 in other words, now, when we begin to see some things here, let me, let me, let me, let me stop here. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou shalt eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. Amen. And as when Adam began, we understand that God gave Adam so much authority on the earth that based on what he was going to do, he would either bring decay on the land, on the whole earth, or it will prosper the whole, the whole earth. 
because he had the responsibility he was the god on the earth but something happened something happened after the fall before the fall we look in the next chapter chapter 3 it says now serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said unto the woman yea had god said ye shall not eat of any of the tree of the garden of Eden." and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the tree fruit of the tree of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god has said ye shall not eat neither shall ye touch it lest ye die and the serpent said unto woman ye shall not surely die look at that scripture again verse 3 everything was smooth everything there was joy they were enjoying suddenly there was a being that has been interacting with eve when adam left there was a being that was always speaking to somebody with thing and who was that it was the serpent the serpent initially was crawling the serpent initially was walking but something happened with the serpent all of a sudden was a close friend to eve and this has been happening remember this all the animals that god created is perfect in the eyes of god all animals were created perfectly god created them but we see that somehow serpent had more intelligence more wisdom than all the animals because he was very smart in the midst of that i could see lucifer moving over the garden of eden looking for how to seduce and then he saw the relationship between eve and the serpent and as he was looking at eve and the serpent he realized hmm i see that the snake is a good friend to eve let me enter the snake so just as this satan entered judas he entered the serpent now when he entered the serpent he began to watch eve and adam every day they were eating and feasting and they began to eat salad this day they eat salad have you eaten this have you tasted purple have you tasted um cherry have you tasted i know many of you are fasting and we are also fasting so later today we're going to be able to break hallelujah 12 a.m 12 a.m we'll be we're going to break 12 a.m hallelujah we're going to be live on the prayer line so 11 o'clock central standard time hallelujah 11 o'clock central standard time hallelujah amen so this snake amen who the, who the devil now entered the snake now this snake began to ask questions now remember this have you have friends around you who the, somehow you guys talk you guys pray together but suddenly there is a change of pattern suddenly yes so suddenly there is a change of character suddenly there's a change of personality you begin to wonder now when there's a change of personality when you know something has entered they begin to ask you extra personal things you're wondering what kind of extra personal information are they talking about hallelujah and all of a sudden you begin to they ask you where are you going to interview where are you walking where are you this where are you that uh, who is that person who is that real person and they begin to ask you extra personal information and at that point you should be able to discern that this is the power of serpent getting to know who you are if eve knew that why is this serpent trying to ask me personal prophecy something was wrong here you don't need to get information so close about what is the name of that person who is the name of that your helper who is the name of this one and somehow we are so unwise we open our mouth and begin to talk only open your mouth to those who can help you, who have the capacity to help you and to deliver you. And so we begin to see that this woman opened her mouth thinking it was the same serpent, not knowing that the devil had entered the serpent. Now, the reason why the serpent was asking this question because he watched while he was on the tree. He watched how Eve and Adam were eating, but they never went to that tree of good and evil. And then he, the Satan said, has God commanded you? He said, and he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, Ye shall not eat any of the eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto Serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. 
but of the of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god has said you shall not eat now even serpent himself even lucifer himself did not know that that there was a tree that they should not eat because if he knew he would have enticed them we must understand the power of secrets the power of we, sometimes the enemy will entice us to begin to reveal secrets if you watch the story of samson or the downfall of samson downfall of samson is that he had messed up already but the secret to his power to the secret of him coming down from grace to grass was to reveal the place or his place of sacrifice and where the power was deposited they tried everything he ate filthy animals he slept with prostitutes the power was still there but the angel told him one thing the day your hair is being shaved don't let them shave your head let no razor be on your head that's the glory and so you see that this lady delilah came and begin to you must understand that when the devil wants to really get you down you bring you somebody that's very close to you hallelujah somebody that you will release your emotions to and if you're not careful you begin to tell them and pour all your heart hallelujah you become very merry they'll make you feel so good you begin to reveal who you are to them and i pray that the very little things that you are saying the very very little things you are saying will not be for your downfall hallelujah praise god now we begin to see something he begin to open his mouth to delilah delilah was asking 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 what is it what is it we can make him drunk and ties him i'm sure there was witchcraft in there because the bible says she came from a place that where they served the waters so there was a lot of seduction being introduced to Samson. Samson did not sense it his mothers were not even there because they've tasted something that was filthy and so all these things was going on all these things was going on and uh, Samson will say okay this is what's happening to me and they will rush i mean we should just we come try to tie down Samson. Samson will break the chains and we and we run after the enemies Delilah says, no, you're not telling me the truth. Pressed on and pressed on and pressed on and pressed on. Till finally, Samson revealed the secret of his power about his hairlocks. And the woman came, called people, they cut their hair and arrested Samson. And that was how Samson got into a bondage. By revealing the very secret to a friend. A friend that is closer to her. A friend that became convenient to him. Lift your voice and I want you to pray to I want you to say this prayer to, with me. My father, anoint my tongue from today. Every secret I reveal to my enemies that has brought every secret I'm revealing to my enemy that the enemy is using to afflict me. Lord, in the name of Jesus, put a edge on my mouth. Can you go ahead and begin to pray to God? Lord, anoint my tongue. I, I love that scripture that says in Psalm, in the book of Psalm 19. I don't know if you remember that scripture. I want us to pray that prayer. Because the enemy is really, if there's any, if it, we see this, because this is our grandfather, great, 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 great grandfather, Adam and Eve. Uh, this is our great, 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 great grandmother, whether you like it or not. And she fell because Lucifer asked her something. She didn't fornicate. She didn't commit adultery. How did she fall? By the words she said. Major calamity of, the major calamity of Joseph, Joseph's calamity most of it was based on what he said the moment he spoke jesus G peter was doing okay but the moment jesus revealed something about his death satan activated peter close to jesus activated peter very close and peter says no you cannot die in the cross and jesus says satan get it behind me satan get it behind me we are going to pray to God today. Psalm 19, let's go there quickly. I want us to pray this prayer so that with God we are begin to anoint our tongue. We are thinking this season we talk too much. Hallelujah. Who is this one that keeps going and coming, going and coming? Come on. My goodness. Take it easy. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Are we there? Psalm 19. Hallelujah. 
I want uh, look at what we read in verse 12. Now, one of the iniquities, one of the things that we need to be careful. The Bible says, "He that guides his, his who that guards his mouth guides his life." I don't know if you remember that. Yes, he that guides his mouth guide, guards his life. Amen. Now we see something here. Verse 11. So, moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And in keeping them, there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. He said, What? He said, Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Say, from mistakes. Keep that back thy servant also from what? Presumptuous sins. Hallelujah. Somebody say presumptuous sins. Thank you, Lord. I'm trying to explain. I want you to understand this. The book of Psalm 119. Psalm, Psalm 19, sorry. God, Psalm 19. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is somebody there with me? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus. One of the things I don't like is, you know, I pray that God will begin to minister to us today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Now we see, we see that scripture. It says, Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgressions. Can we say that prayer again? Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Keep me, O God, from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be upright. Look at the last one. This is the last one I want us to, 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 to say together. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. Now get an anoint your tongue now. Hallelujah. Get an anointing and anoint your tongue. And say, Lord, from today, give me the power to withhold secrets from my enemies. Anoint your tongue. Give me the power to anoint, give me the power to withhold secrets from my enemies. Father, give me the power to withhold secrets from my enemies. Give me the power to withhold divine secrets. Oh God, give me the power to withhold divine secrets given to me. Give me the power to retain my words. Hallelujah. Go ahead and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Ela bando raba bere 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 dio ala branda raba baga ba sambron do rebe bere 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 di e rega de rebe bere 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 do rebe bios zum brenda rebe bere bere dish up your mouth i begin to talk to god say lord keep my tongue from revealing secret keep my tongue from revealing secret keep my tongue from revealing secret keep my family from revealing their secrets up your mouth i begin to pray rondo raba bara baba ka barande rebe bia Ele brando rebebege berebebe abaradosh rege de rebebe rebebe gabaradish zon le brando rebebe rebebe abaradin zanda raba rebebe gabaradori bebios a raba rebebe kapa likanto lo dolo bobios ela ando raba rebebe gabaradish in jesus name hallelujah let's open our bible to proverbs chapter 21 
Proverbs 21. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I read from verse 23. He says something very unique. He said, Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his souls from trouble. Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his souls from trouble. Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his souls from trouble. Hmm. Lord, keep my mouth, keep my tongue. Keep my mouth and keep my tongue from trouble. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, keep my mouth and my tongue. Keep it from trouble. In the name of Jesus. Bible says, whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from trouble. He whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from trouble. You're going to ask God, Lord, help me to keep my tongue. Help me to keep my mouth. This was the, this was the downfall of, this was the, what the enemy was orchestrating against Joseph. He wasn't able to keep his mouth. He spoke too early. He spoke too early. He spoke to Eli. God kept the mouth of Adam. So the devil could not try Adam. But for Eve, Eve opened the mouth. You may not be the one opening your mouth. If you don't pray this prayer, your children might be the one to open their mouth. Even your husband might be the one to open their mouth. And when they open their mouth and they begin to talk to your in-law, they begin to talk to somebody in your family because they don't think that the ones that are wrong the enemy they can begin to orchestrate plan. Hallelujah. 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 Le gragadore bebio, zembrandere bebios. Oh God, help me to keep my mouth. Help me to keep my tongue. Help me to keep my mouth. Help me to keep my tongue. Help me to retain secrets within my mouth. Help me to retain retain secrets within my tongue. In the name of Jesus. Help me, oh God. Help my family. Help my children. Help my wife. Help my husband. In the name of Jesus. To keep their tongue. To keep their tongue. To keep their tongue. And to keep their mouth. Oh God, from revealing secrets to the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rababa Kazumbre Des. Okay, let's go back to the word now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know, one of the things that we must understand that the Bible says that life and death light in the power of the tongue. Life and death. Amen. Now we're learning something. What happened to Adam and Eve when there was no sin? How did they fall into the temptation? Praise God. <clears throat> Glory to God. One of the things we must understand, and when the woman saw that, it, and uh, uh, hallelujah, verse 3. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. You shall not touch it, neither shall you eat it. So once you touch it, you don't become innocent anymore. And the Sabbath said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. God had known that in the day ye shall eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as God knowing good and evil hallelujah it means that when you become a god you become independent you are not you're not controllable by anybody you become independent yourself and the eyes of them were both open and they knew that they were naked and they saw leaves clothes wherever it is and they heard the voice of god walking in the garden their eyes of both of them verse 7 were open and they knew that they were naked Remember the Bible says in the previous chapter, we see that in the last, last verse in chapter 2, it says that Adam saw Eve, he said, this is my bone of my bone. Amen, this is the bone of my bone, and they became one flesh, and Adam said, Adam knew that they were naked, Adam saw that they were naked. Okay, now let's go there, let's go there, let me not quote. 
Verse 25, and they were both naked, and the man and his wife were not ashamed. They were both naked. So this naked was innocent. Now, but this other one that is referring about naked here, what is revealing here? I want to ask everybody on this prayer line if they know what it is. Hallelujah. Amen. What does it mean? What is the others? Does it mean and they were naked and they knew they were naked? Somebody tell me, according to verse 7, and they knew they were naked. Verse 7. Huh? No, no, no. That transparent, are you referring to chapter 2 or chapter 3? That. Huh? Chapter 2 talks about after Adam knew Eve. He saw Eve, this is my bone of my bone. And they were naked. Uh -huh. And they were naked. Okay, this is the last, the last verse. All right? They were both naked and man and his wife. And they were not ashamed. Now, after the fall, after the fall, verse 5, he said, And their eyes were open. Then your eyes will be open, and it shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Now, when the woman saw the tree for good, when she took it, verse 7, and both of their eyes were opened, and they, they were naked. What does it mean? What kind of nakedness is the Bible talking about here? Okay. So, they sowed fig trees and leaves around them. Because they were not ashamed. Initially, they were not ashamed in the past. Now they're not ashamed. So there was a guilt there. Now, the Bible does not help us to understand or to grasp the revelation of what really happened. Hallelujah. The Bible did not really help us to understand the revelation of what really happened. Okay? Of the level of glory they lost. Amen. I want to help us to understand the level of glory that we lost through that sin or that little iniquity. Okay? Now, when you study the Bible, you begin to understand that the Bible says, All have seen and have come short of the glory of God. All have seen and have come short of the glory of God. And we begin to see how the enemy begin to come into that place whereby guilt begin to take place. They were so covered in God's glory and so, such brightness. Thank you. They were covered in God's glory and brightness that when the, when that disappeared all they could see was the flesh and this is the first time they saw the flesh initially we're seeing the beauty and the glory what happens is that without the glory of god we become empty without the glory of god you begin to find rejection you begin to find hurt you begin to find sickness and disease you begin to find hatred you begin to find all kinds of things within the flesh but when the glory of god comes upon you it seals you it covers you insulates you from all those negative nonsense are you hearing me now they began to hear the voice of God, but God had to, when they hear, God began to ask, they were even afraid from confronting God, because why? The sin of condemnation was still in them. Are you hearing me? When they ate this, they, when, they, when they ate this fruit, they were still walking in sin, they were even naked, they hid themselves from God, hallelujah, thank you, the disobedience of God, and you know, when you, when you read this, this, the, the, the serpent was the serpent had so much authority and of course from that moment they begin to inquire the, the curse curse came upon them now as a result of their fall the the the, the, the whole earth that was in 33 degrees um natural all of a sudden begin to go into a place of decay the whole place begin to decay amen and as the the whole earth was decaying so was adam and eve amen age began to come upon them and very soon they were led out of the garden of eden when they were led out of the garden of eden they begin to struggle okay begin to struggle and life was struggling many times in our lives we need to understand that when we begin to obey god god will says be careful be careful god will says don't eat of a particular tree don't eat of a particular tree remember that word don't eat of a particular tree many times when we begin to obey god hallelujah we must understand that the devil will bring something that is defiled for us to taste it might not be in our dreams. It might bring be true people. And you must bless everything that you eat. If you are a parent here, don't bring every food that is given to you 
I remember the man of God, Dr. Lukoya. I don't know many of you, maybe you guys remember him. Hallelujah. But there's a man of God, um, Martin of Fire. This man of God, um, he had a conference, a crusade. And after the crusade, a woman of God who usually cooked for him, a usually a woman of God who brought us a gift, not a woman of God that cooks for him. There was a woman of God who always um, comes around and everything. Anyways, somebody came, I was so happy, and blessed uh, him and his friends with cake. He got a portion of the cake and kept it in the fridge. Every time he wants to break the fast, the Lord says, continue fasting. So he go back to the crusade every day, every day. So one day he was so hungry and he brought the cake out to, to eat. By the time he used his knife to dig into the, the cake, it was a whole stone. It was a whole stone. The cake had turned to stone. And that is what would have affected him in the belly. Are you hearing me? Many times, what we take in from our, what we take to eat in our body can bring damnation in our lives. We need to be very, very careful what we eat. Hallelujah! The forbidden fruit, which will brought condemnation, and the power of choices. God put planted that tree there for us to make our decision to live a life of holiness and of purity. Amen. In what when you go to the store, in the store, there are a lot of things that you can eat that bring pollution. I give an example. Once you eat something or you eat something from a friend or you eat something from a party and when you go to sleep, you have been fed in your dream and you've not been fed in your dream maybe for a month but you go to sleep, you, you, you see yourself eating in your dream. Remember, that food that you ate is defiled. That's how you know when you've eaten something that is not of God. Number two, when you eat something from somebody and something that is not right and then you, you, you an hour later, you begin to feel movement in your body you begin to feel something moving in your body you know there is something that is defiled one of the strategies of jezebel if you understand in the book of revelation talks about food sacrifice to idols amen they are food that carry demonic presence they are food that carry that are being infiltrated by the spirits if this thing enter into your life you will not walk in purity and that way you walk in holiness there are levels of defilement that are going on right now hallelujah but I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, you'll be able to begin to identify such powers, such presence in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now we see that Adam and Eve, the Bible says that all have seen are come short of the glory of God. The moment they disobeyed God, something happened. Hallelujah. Adam began to struggle. Adam was kicked out of Eden. He was struggling. His clothes was gone, spiritual ropes. Who do you think took it? Who do you think took it? You think he just went went to hell or disappeared or went back to God? No. The devil stole it. The glory of God. The devil was, was wanting to steal. And once you break the edge and you disobey God, he has the legal rights to, sneak, to steal, to strip you off those ropes. Once you come out from the territory of God, God's grace, the devil goes ahead and steals the garment, spiritual rope. That rope, it wasn't God that stole it. It was the devil. He took the rope of light that was on Adam and Eve. And that rope of light carried the armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, everything. Hallelujah. And so now the devil could now appear in the form of light because now he has stolen that. The Bible says Adam began to struggle from there on. They began to labor. Even the women began to labor. Everything was struggling, laboring. Hallelujah. Once the enemy steals from your life, the keys of blessing and you notice that in any part of your family stand as an intercessor amen and arise go to a place of consecration and return back and go and snatch those keys from the powers of god powers of darkness and this is what jesus came to do when he came the first thing he started was he went into a fasting 40 days and 40 nights hallelujah and when he was about to die he also went again to pay the price he prayed so much in gethsemane why was he praying so much? Hallelujah. He prayed so much so that by the time he, he went to hell, he went to go get back the keys of dominion from Lucifer. Amen. He get back the keys of dominion and what he has snatched from Adam to take it back. Hallelujah. We must understand, amen, that many of our believers, many people in our family are under the siege of the devil. He doesn't want us to be free. He doesn't want our family to be free. He doesn't want us to be free from demonic attacks. But I pray for you, every form of oppression in your life, the Lord will begin 
to wreak such oppression from you in the name of Jesus Christ. If we must see God, we must live a life of holiness. Hallelujah. We must live a life of holiness. Back to Psalm 24. Let's go to our scripture of Psalm 24. Hallelujah. Psalm 24. It says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floors. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? There is a hill, beloved. There is a mountain. On Badiah 117, it says, Upon Mount Zion, they shall be deliverance, holiness, and the household of Jacob shall possess their possession. Upon Mount Zion, for you to escape the antiques of the devil, you must go through deliverance. And then from there on, when God, when you have now graduated from deliverance, God now releases the spirit of holiness upon you. And in that place of holiness, is when you, be, be, you begin to perfect holiness or you begin to walk in holiness, God will begin to cause restoration upon your life. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Verse 3. Who shall stand in his holy place? Who is the vessel that will be able to stand in the place of God? Who is the vessel that will be able to approach the light of God? You say, I say, he that has a clean hands. He that has a what? A clean hands. He that ha his hands is pure. He that his hands is free from sin and iniquity. He that his hands is free from blood. And a pure heart. How pure is your heart? How pure is your heart? Do you know that many hands are covered with blood? God spoke to David. He says, you cannot build my temple because your hands are with blood. Has your hands shed innocent blood? We must look into that. And a pure heart. In fact, this word that says a pure heart, do you know that if you are not, if you are hypocritical, if you're living a life of he, being, um, uh, when you're a hypocrite, you may, let's say I'm preaching what I'm preaching now, but I'm not living the life. That's a hypocrite. If you're living that kind of lifestyle, you won't be qualified to live that. Now, in, 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 in other words, if, when you, want, when you know you have a pure heart, okay, is when, Worship comes. The Bible says, He that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. When worship begins to flow in the church, and it takes time for your heart to begin to flow in worship, it takes time for you to begin to cry in the presence of God. If you're not weeping, I hope I don't block somebody now because I'm getting too much. Uh, whatever it is. But anyways. When your heart is not pure. When your heart is not pure. Wickedness. A lot of hearts are filled with so much idols. A lot of hearts are filled with robbery. With deceit. In fact. Once I sense. When I'm talking to any individual. And I sense a lot of deceit. You might not tell lies. But when I see a lot of deceit. 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 Trying to deceive. Trying to connive. Trying to be slater, you're not straightforward, you're not honest. It's very easy to discern that. It's very easy to know anybody who is who is trying to be like that. Are you hearing me? Very easy to know anyone that who is not sincere. I love that word sincerity. Sincerity, meaning we are so real. In this generation, we have a lot of people who just smile, <laughs> but it's very fake. 
very fake. How real are you? Are you very deceitful? Are you really sincere? You must let the spirit of truth go deep inside of you. When a man begins to tell lies, begins to tell lies and tell lies and tell lies and your heart is now hardened. That is not a pure heart. The Bible says, Blessed are those who have pure hearts, for they shall what? See God. For you to really have an encounter with God. For you to really stand in that holy place. And God that makes himself real to you. Do you know they have, they have the eyes of the heart? Have you ever seen God with the eyes of your heart? People, people's, normally, most people don't have the eyes of the heart. The eyes of the heart are closed. I had an experience years ago when the eyes of my heart opened. I'm telling you, it was just shocking. I could see the supernatural right in front of me. But many people have lost that act. It's very hard to, for you to cause God to open the eyes of your heart. Very hard. It takes a lot of consecration. It takes a lot of purity. It takes a lot of repentance. Hallelujah. And so when you begin to repent, if you're not careful, I remember this story when I was um, when I first tried to repent before the Lord. Hallelujah. I told you this story and I'm going to share it again. Hallelujah. I began to pray to God at one point. Hallelujah. I began to repent to God at one point and I began to tell the Lord, I said, Lord, whatever it is in my life, remove it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I began to repent at one point and I began to tell the Lord. Um, I was going to deep repentance, deep repentance, deep repentance, deep repentance, deep repentance, deep repentance. Deep repentance. Amen. And it was getting very deep, very deep. I was separated from everybody, just alone. I'm repenting for the church, repenting for that. And, so, and suddenly, as I began to cry, tears, everything. Oh man, as I was repenting, it also felt good. So I was calling to that holy place with God. The eyes of my heart starts opening up. It starts opening up. It starts opening up. I started seeing things. And... When it comes to vision, you can't control it because it's like pictures. It's like clips, 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 clips. Just keeps moving. Hallelujah! But it takes conscious, godly repentance. It takes the flowing of tears. It takes the weeping to go past the veil of the flesh, to be able to have that serious encounter. It takes moments of silence. It's not an easy trial, and when you do it, you must try to stay there. Even though you mingle among people, but trust me, you'll be feeling the sensitivity of heaven around you. Around you. Hallelujah. He that has the cleanse and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. You see that? Vanity. 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 He has not lifted up his soul to vanity. Vanity means emptiness. Meaning falsehood. Hallelujah. Falsehood. Amen. It also means lying. When it's, when it's vanity, vanity means also to, you know, you just caught up in so many things, in makeups, in other things, and it's just so much. It's just it's the enemy trying to really engage, cloud your heart, so that you know so that you lose the sensitivity of the spirit of God. Amen. Once you begin to tell the truth, you'll be honest. Guard your heart with all due diligence. Out of the heart flows the issues of life. Okay? Many people, one of the things you must understand, any man that wants to really walk in the purity of the heart, you must understand that if you don't want to walk in love, forget about having your heart pure. To walk in love is to keep your heart pure. To keep your heart pure is to walk in total love. Now, if you make up your mind that says, I want to walk in love, then prepare to go through what David went through. Prepare to go through what Joseph went through. Because there will be crazy people, people like Saul, that will go after you.
to break you. Now, David was a man who God prepared his heart. He was rejected by his brothers. He was alone. Time for promotion. Saul, who could be his father, started fighting him. He was still loving God and still worshipping God. Saul began to chase him. We didn't see his brothers come fighting for David. We didn't see his father, David's father, asking Saul, why do you want to kill my son? Okay, let's talk. We are old men. Let's talk. My David is just a young boy. Let's, let's see how we can solve this issue. Nobody was fighting for David. Not one person. No intercessor. So, it was very easy for David to have bitterness, unforgiveness against Saul. I hate Saul. He's a wicked man. He's a witch. He's a wizard. But every time David had the opportunity to kill Saul, he had a fear of God. He had a respect. Are you telling me this guy cannot kill? Oh, oh my goodness. He killed a lot of people. But for Saul, he just couldn't. He just couldn't. That is a good heart. You must understand that the moment you said, I want to make work in love, you will see all hell break loose. Everybody starts acting like a monster. They wanted to react. They wanted to act negative. Some of them want to break you. Some of them want to betray you. Make sure you don't respond like them. Just walk in love. Forgive easily. Because the more you lose your purity of your heart, the more you don't see God. The more your heart becomes hardened. And the more you lose the consciousness of God's voice. God will be knocking and you won't hear him. People sworn deceitfully. I will do this. I promise. I will do this. I promise. And eventually they, they don't. They tell you, I will, I will, I will. But they don't. They, they, they know they will not. They know they won't pay you. They are sworn deceitfully. Deceitfulness. As long as your hands are clean and your heart, your heart is pure, then you are qualified to receive the blessings from the Lord. Every time angels are coming and they see that you are having unforgiveness towards another, the angel will go back. Many times, you go to somebody else and drop the blessing. Angel will come back again. You are praying again. The angel will bring the blessing again. I remember I told you I was going to share you the story of my, my own story. How I got to a place of consecration. It wasn't easy. Uh, back in 2012. The Lord called me. I was in a train to India. I was in a train in India. I was heading to another city for crusade. And I was really tired because it was an 18, 18 hours um, trip from, I think, Bangalore to another city. And uh, so while the training was going on, whatever it is, I was so Chennai to another, whatever it is. And I fell asleep. And then Benny Hinn, in the dream, my peer to, you know, you know, came to me with a list. I said, here's a list. I said, okay. He said, about 22 of the people are on this list. The Lord will have you to go on a 21-day 20, uh, fast. And he said, if you obey, the Lord said, your name will be among the list. And he told me all that, on, gave me all that information. And I said, yes, Lord. I woke up and I thought I was in Texas. I thought I was back in America. When I woke up, I saw that the train was still moving. But it was so real. The dream was so real. So when I, when I got to... Because that was the last crusade. After the crusade, I went back to America. When I got back, we had a ministry center. We just, you know, started renting the place. So I told many of the ministers who was helping with the ministry. Hallelujah. I told them, I said, listen, remove the chairs 
get me an air mattress. Get me stuff. And they got everything for Walmart. Bought everything there. I gave them my keys, my wallet. I gave them my watch. Don't come back to 21 days later. You know, fasting like that, you can't really do it until God pulls it in your heart. God really reveals you and gives that grace. Man, you are ready to go without food. So, in this fast, it was, man, it was one of the most best fast ever. So, nobody was in the building. It was just myself. I didn't even know how to check the time. So, I, I gave the, all the clock everything. How did I check the time? I would look at the, um, the heater. And on the heater, they had a time there. The heater had a time. So, I look at the time there. That's how I knew. And I'll be praying and seeking God. So the first seven days, I got on my knees to repent. The first day. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I begin to repent. Cleanse me. Da, 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 da. And it seemed so dry because I was a little bit hungry. And I felt like, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. So Lord, you know, da, da. it looks so mechanic. And I'll force myself. Lord, remove the scales. Forgive me, Lord. And the Lord Spirit says, calm down now. So I will take the book of Psalm 51, recite it before God. And I begin to repent, repent, repent. Hallelujah. And I begin to see clips, clips, clips. The moment I start shedding tears, really deep, you to see clips. Revelations, visions. That was day one. I begin to read the scriptures wherever. So day two, I went into repentance now. Lord, forgive me for that. Forgive this. I was now praying for my family. Okay, repentance for my own family. Whatever sin we've committed back in Africa, whatever this, whatever that, whatever this. So I begin to do all this repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. So as I begin to do this repentance, all of a sudden, um, as, as I begin to repent before the Lord, suddenly something happened to me. Amen. God opened my eyes. And at this time, as my eyes was open. I remembered an Indian pastor who I owe oh, the Lord asked him to bless. I remember what he did to me, even though I tried to be honest and real to him, but some of some things that was being said. Ah. And um, I went, and so I remember those words. Well, I, this is why I'm repenting. And then I, and I was just like, why did you have to say that? I'm a minister, and you're telling me I'm a businessman. No, that's wrong. And da, 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 so I'm complaining now. And it got so bad that I said, you know what? I'm going to go call him now. Let me go out of here and go to Subway and look for a phone and call this guy. Even though I had no wallet, nothing. And the Lord will say, you've not forgiven him. The next day, it will, so unless I'm repenting, I'm crying, I'm feeling good. And then I'm about to pray over all others' prayers. And I remember this guy again. How will he do this? you kidding me. And I will get so offended. So offended. I said, no. I need to go call this man and tell him the peace of my mind. <laughs> I said, you're kidding me. I mean, this guy is arrogant. And I'm just complaining. And the Lord said, you've not forgiven him. And again, I will think about the whole thing. So I'm trying to pray, suppress it. I say, okay, Lord, forgive me, whatever this. Now remember this now. This is on the fifth day now, right? So I'm praying other prayers. And suddenly, I'm thinking about India, thinking about my trip. It was beautiful. Hallelujah. This is good. Suddenly, I'm thinking again. Oh, God bless you, my sister. Suddenly again. I remember again. Why can why would this pastor treat me like this in India? No, I don't like this. I'm gonna call him and tell him because my enough is enough. And instantly I heard God's voice. You've not released him. You have not released him. Because if you've released him, if you've forgiven him, you will not remember this. Hallelujah. Instantly, the Lord says you've not forgiven this man. If you must cross the line, 
If you must cross the altar into the inner courts of my presence, you must consciously forgive him. Do you know that without my understanding, I had no clue. I had no clue that I have not forgiven him. Because it wasn't a big deal. I just, you know, do my thing. I don't remember him. But that day, the Lord kept on bringing it back three times. And you will, you won't know that you forgive, you've, you've not forgiven anybody. You will think that you're forgiven, but you will not know until God is bringing them back to you. And I was like, I said, okay, you know what, Lord, help me to forgive him. Help me to let go. Just help me, Father, to forgive this man. If you cannot take this thing out of me, I will walk in unforgiveness. And the moment I said that, I began to weep again. I love weeping because weeping is so weeping is purity. I'm not talking about emotional pity, self-pity. I'm talking about the real godly sorrow. I begin to weep. Oh God, circumcise my heart. Oh God, whatever I've heard with my ears. Let my ears become an instrument, oh God, to hear your voice. Cleanse my ears, oh God. Cleanse my eyes to be an instrument of revelation. Oh God, whatever I've seen, whatever I've allowed my eyes to view. Lord, from today, I repent. Lord, cleanse my eyes. Purge my eyes with your light. Send your fire into my eyes. Let my eyes become an instrument of revelation. Let my eyes become an instrument of healing. Oh God, I yield my members unto you. I yield my tongue from today. Let none of my tongue defile. Let none of my tongue speak evil. Let none of my tongue say anything that will grieve you. Oh God, I want to be complete obedience. I begin to repent. I begin to cry. I begin to cry. I was crying. I was weeping. Then the next day, I mean, then of course I went, I fell asleep in the process, and then all of a sudden, I see like an eight foot angel. Now, eight foot man, let me use the word eight foot man, not an angel. I didn't see no wings in him, but it seemed like where we were in the room, it seemed like as if it was in a hotel, in an exquisite hotel in, in the room. But in the room, of course, the bed is there, and it's standing on the other side of the bed. He says, give me your cloth. And his voice was strong. Give me your shed. I looked at him. I said, I said no. He said, give me your shed. I said, no. And when he said, he said, give me your shed. I said, okay, fine. And I gave it to him. And I took my shed and I gave it to him, threw it to him. And when he saw the shed, so he took the shirt and he had like some other like white shiny shirts on the bed and he took the shirt and he threw it to me when i cut the shirt i woke up i said wow what was that you mean i was actually resisting and fighting an angel i mean that shocked me that shocked me now that brings us back to this scriptural I was saying he shall receive the blessings of the Lord and righteousness from God of his salvation blessed are those who are pure in heart for then they shall see God it took a while to get to that place when this rope comes upon you okay we see that in also in Zechariah chapter 3. Let's go there quickly. That's the last one before we before we get out of here. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zechariah chapter 3. Look at that. Hallelujah. And the angel of the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord has chosen Jerusalem, rebuke thee. It is not a brand that is plucked out of fire. Now Joshua was clothed with a filthy garment. And the angel of the Lord stood and, and 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 stood before the angel and he said and speak unto those that stood before him take away the filthy garment and he said unto him behold i have caused the iniquity to pass away from thee so the changing of the raiment causes iniquity to pass away now look at what after that once an iniquity is, once a garment is taken away from you there is something that takes place he says i have let me set a fair mirror upon his head and the angel stood by look at what it says verse 7 if thou will walk in my ways, if thou will keep my charge, once an iniquity is taken away from you and a garment is not placed upon you, it's a royal rope. If that rope gives you the ability to walk in holiness, yet another commandment will be given to you. If you will keep my charge, such and such, God will begin to elevate you. 
Hallelujah. So, in other words, for our Christian work, no matter the feel, the garment of our Father's house, if you want to walk in holiness, you have to go beyond the veil and repent and repent and repent. Hallelujah. When you begin to repent, God will begin to cause a massive restoration upon your life. Massive restoration of blessings upon your life. So many times we are being beaten down. Uh, listen to me. Obadiah 117. It's one of these. It's very, 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 very easy scripture. Maybe I should just say it to you now. Hallelujah. Verse 17. Upon Mount Zion shall, shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. The word holiness meaning hallelujah without which no man shall see god without with holiness means also to come having the armor of the lord amen the helmet of salvation has to be upon your mind amen many minds are sick many minds imagine all kinds of lust many minds view all kinds of nonsense filth amen you must filter those nonsense out of you you must come to that place whereby the more you engage the word of god and the more the word of god gets into your spirit the Bible says you are purified by the word of God. It says what? Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sit against you. Psalm 119. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sit against you. So when you begin to read and abide in the word of the Lord, when let the word of God take root, let the word of God take deep root inside of you. When the word of God takes root inside of you, what happens to you? Every, every form of sin in your life jumps out of you. The sin will begin to lose its grip of you. The reason why the spirit of this age has its law, has its authority over us, is because we are not chosen to abide in God. Hallelujah. We must try as much as possible to begin to yield ourselves in God. Live in God. Abide in Him. Let His word take His root in your life. Let me tell you something. Each word has a light of God. Each word has His life in God, in, 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 in it. So every from every word you unravel, Amen. Every word you read, every word you begin to digest is the release of the light of God inside of you. By the unveiling of the word of God on your face is the unveiling of the light of God to shine upon you. When you read the word of God, the word of God also renews you. Now look at what it says. Amen. Look at what it says in Psalm 1, Psalm chapter 1. It's like easy scriptures which we which, which, which you'll be meditating on, but they are very easy scriptures. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walks not to the counsel of the ungodly, meaning he's not led by the by the god by the godly one, he's not manipulated by the instructions of the godly, ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of discomfort, he's not among those who are evil, but his delight is in the law. His law does he meditate day and night. And for you to achieve what they call success, for you to be directed by the Spirit of God, for you to be led like Jesus into the wilderness, to be tempted of the devil, hallelujah, you must be, be planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. He says what? Ah, please write down this prayer and send it to me. <laughs> this is authority. Yo. Hallelujah. Amen. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bring it forth his foot in his season. Hallelujah. <laughs> Say please. Oh. Who, who, who is that? I don't know who is that. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Nobody is paying me. Oh. Tale, Katalepa. I'm sure it is Goa. I'm sure it's Goa. I know who it is. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Say he said we pay me. But his delight is in the law, and his law does he meditate day and night. Amen. His tree shall be, he say, it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, not before his season, in his season. You become fruitful, your leaf shall not even wither. I love that scripture that says, it says, and whatsoever he doeth, Psalm 24, verse 3. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Everything he does by the direction of reading of God's word will cause him to excel, cause him to prosper, cause him to be the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and so so by this lifestyle when this garment comes upon you there is a garment that when it comes upon you it releases the grace for you it comes saturates your mind you begin to live a life of holiness and a life of victory when you sleep angels will begin to minister to you i remember one time i remember that was the time of two months consecutively where every night i wake up with songs of joy coming out of my mouth one night you see yourself preaching the gospel in your dream another time you're laying hands before people hallelujah you must make that conscious effort and say lord remove for me every negative 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 in the spirit of negativity lord help me close my ears against the wrong voice close my eyes from seeing the wrong things i want to hear you only i dedicate my eyes to you I dedicate my ears to you i dedicate my tongue to you oh god let me not be at the wrong place you anoint your feet also lead me to the right place lead me to the right place lead me out of trouble when you begin to pray like this then the blessings of god will not be released upon you god will begin to minister to you are you hearing me remember this righteousness means right standing with god be conscious of your work with god because the more you are rapturally before god the more the devil has no authority in your life amen once you do that the lord will begin to instruct you he said the sheep hear my voice and the stranger they will not follow stranger they will not follow let not the voice of a stranger entice you let not the stranger the voice of stranger entice you or lead you astray amen if you are hearing the sound of my voice and you have not given your life to christ before or you've given your life to christ before and you've backslidden and you want to come back you say pastor please help me i want to make my ways right i want to say lord i'm sorry for every every sin i've committed if you're hearing the sound of my voice and you say pastor i repent for my sins please forgive me now hallelujah please forgive me now for my sins go ahead i want you to begin to talk to the lord hallelujah i want you to send me a text on whatsapp hallelujah if you don't have a whatsapp number information hallelujah please i want you to get it um if you don't have a whatsapp number i'm going to send it to you now is 612 701 5983 612 701 is 5983 our whatsapp number is 612 701 5983 hallelujah amen 612 701 5983 remember this pride is a root of selfishness god is wanting us to come out from ourselves and what let us walk in sacrificial for others let us sacrifice our life for others let's live for others he that winning his soul is wise if you want to experience the peace of god if you've been never experienced the presence of god and you've been outside and you say lord i lay everything down to it from today i want to serve you with all of my heart all of my soul if you will walk with me from the 10th of february from today i promise to live obediently and surrender unto you if you mean this with all of your heart i want you to send me a text that says pastor i'm repenting for my sins i want to live a changed life from today i want to drop all the iniquity and the anger i want to follow you i want to follow the cross i want to go all the way and surrender my heart help me to follow jesus all the way if you are saying this from the depth of your heart and you really mean business with god you really mean business with god please send me a text send me a text 612 701 593 i'm going to pray with you that the lord will begin to change you hallelujah 612 701 5983 hallelujah glory to god
Say, let, say this prayer with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm sorry for all my sins. Forgive me, O oh God, for what do for walking away from you. Say right now. Hallelujah. Say right now. In the name of Jesus. Purify my heart. Purify my heart. Purify my soul. I've allowed so many unforgiveness in my heart. I've stepped away from your kingdom. I want to walk in your love. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. Wash my heart. Wash my heart. Cleanse my soul from every iniquity. Heal my heart from every pain. Restore me, O God, to be like you. Restore me, O God, to be like you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray for everyone here. Amen. Please remember if you say this prayer and you really mean business with God, send me a text. You done WhatsApp or you send me a text on my personal number 612-701-593. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, Lord, I commit everyone onto your hands. I commit everyone who have heard the sound, have heard this message from your throne. Jesus, the revealer of truth. Move now and begin to heal every heart. Begin to heal every soul. Every soul that has been broken and has been wounded, let your blood begin to heal them now. Draw all who have repented today. I pray that you impart your light upon them. I pray you give them the grace to begin to live a holy life. From today, the power to live a life free of sin, the power to live a life free of offense, the power to live a life free from anger, hatred, envy, jealousy, lust, adultery, the power to live a life. Oh God, let it come upon everyone now. Everyone. Release upon us a new rope, a new garment of holiness upon our lives, upon our soul, upon our spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will set each life vessel here, set every vessel here on fire for you. I thank you and I give you the praise. From today, let them begin to hear your voice. Implant in them the sheep nature. You say, learn of me, I am meek and lowly. Father, put upon us the meek and lowliness of God. The meekness of God. The lowly lifestyle of you. The ability to walk in humility. Father, place it upon our lives, O oh God. Rope us with righteousness. Garment us, O oh God, with purity. Give us a sense of holiness to walk in this mind. Let this mind of Christ, O oh God, be upon all of us all. Cleanse us from within. Purge our souls. Give us a heart of holiness, a heart of purity from today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you, everyone, today. As you hear the sound of my voice, Hallelujah. I thank God for you. And I thank God for giving the opportunity to be able to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember this. If you just pray that prayer with me, send me a text again. Mm. Hallelujah. It's coming. Amen. Remember this again. If you just hear this prayer and this message, please send me a text. If you repented today and you reconciled with the Lord and you prayed and you said, Lord, come into my heart. Send me a text, 612-701-5983. Hallelujah. It's important. It's important. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. So, tonight, around 12 o'clock, we're going to be uh 12 a.m. We're going to be um, be in prayer, come 9 vigil. So, it's going to be like uh, 12 p.m., 12 a.m. Uh, Eastern, Eastern, Eastern time. 11 o'clock central Standard time the lord bless you the lord keep you 
the Lord guide you and cause his face to shine upon you. Hallelujah. Can we um, thank you, Jesus? We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Amen. Shall we share the grace before we go? Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, no, no, not. Uh, it's going to be uh, p.m., 11 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, 12 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Time. Eastern Standard Time. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's share the grace. The grace of. I don't know what time is it in Australia. Are you in Australia? Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to do that very soon. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your blood. I pray that you will lead everyone, O oh God, to the right place. Let us hear your voice clearly, O oh God. Let us be directed. Let us be pushed to the right place from today. In the name of Jesus. Lead us to the place. All our steps are right before your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we share the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in God's house now and forevermore. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. The Lord be with you. Hallelujah. Call me. Call me, brother. 612 what? Oh yeah, the communion. I'm so sorry. I say we stay the communion and I'll bless. Oh my goodness, why did I forget that? Thank you for reminding me. Hallelujah. Well, get your communion out. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Somebody said I was wondering. Oh Lord, help us. Amen. Six one two seven zero one five nine eight three. Six one two seven zero one five nine eight three. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Alabalabayabaradosh. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, I love you so much. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Does everybody have their communion? I want to pray in the oil. Lord, lift up. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you right now. Let, let the oil right now, I speak to the oil right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that your power will begin to come upon every oil. Spirit of the living God, let your fresh anointing, let your fresh presence, let your fresh glory begin to come upon every oil now. Spirit of God, brood over this oil now. Let the fire of your spirit, let the fire of your anointing come upon the oil now. I pray that, Lord, even as you seek, use the oil. I pray that they will be healed in the name of Jesus. Let the power of your spirit of grace rest upon this oil. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask that the very life in your blood, the very life in your blood, I'm still in I'm still broadcast. Hallelujah. I know you're calling me, but just hold on. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of the spirit of God even upon this oil right now. In the name of Jesus, Zili Beka Pa, Librando Roboboyo Brodos, Zenderebe Beka Baradosh. Right now, I speak the light of God. I speak the illumination of your power to enter into the oil. Holy Ghost, mingle this oil with your power. Mingle this oil with your holiness. Mingle this oil with your glory. Mingle this oil with deliverance. Mingle this oil with your fire. Let the fire of God enter the oil. Let the fire of God enter the oil. Let the fire of God enter the oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that this oil. We break every yoke, break every sickness. Huh? In the name of Jesus, through this oil, may your sickness get out of your body. Through this oil, I decree the power of prosperity comes upon you. I decree that through this oil, I decree you are blessed from today. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the oil is consecrated in the name of the Father, 
in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I bless your name, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's take our communion very quickly. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now. In the name of the Father, we break this way for us. We ask Holy Spirit that as we take this, your bread, consecrate our lives, O oh God, unto you. Bring us to the place of sincerity. Wash our hearts. Wash our minds. Wash our tongues. Cleanse us, O oh God. Make us pure for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. You can eat the other bread. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift out of the blood and said, as often as you do this, do it to remember us of me. Father, we thank you for your blood. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for every life listening to me now. Oh, let your hand be upon all of us as we take off your blood. Cleanse us, Lord God. We exchange our body for yours. Let your blood flow into our blood. Renew, restore, heal us. Fill us with your glory. Fill us with your glory. Top of my head to the soles of my feet. Bid us with a fresh anointing. Bid us with a fresh anointing. Strengthen our minds, strengthen our bones. Renew our minds. Fill us with your faith, make us fearless in your kingdom. You say, might it took the blood and said as often as you drink my blood do it in members of me in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Spirit you can drink of the blood Amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. This world. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same again. Alright? It is, it is. I'm so excited for all of you. In a fruitful time, be fruitful in the ways of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless everyone. I, I, I let you go. Amen. God bless you. Have fun. Bye bye now. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in God's house now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye.